Fez. It's wet, you're gonna have to leave it. Here at the Geek Group, we've invented a new fundraising strategy. You can now purchase impressively tiny coins we've compressed using high-energy magnetism. We induce a current pulse of 100,000 amps into a copper wire coiled around a golden dollar dime or quarter, producing very powerful opposing magnetic fields that compress a quarter to the diameter of a dime, which you then receive in a lovely commemorative package along with the satisfaction that can only come from helping the Geek Group build our endowment, which in turn will allow us to put membership fees, donations, and sponsorships towards furthering the organization rather than just maintaining it. Carry a lightning bolt in your pocket, available at the Geek Group. So 150 pounds of robot? Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. No, I put it I over my shoulder and brought it downstairs and upstairs. Mm -hmm. Only once, though. Yeah. I didn't want to do it more than once. Uh, no. Yeah. Now well, smack the bike over. Yeah, I've got 4-axis controller down here, okay, a couple so T-spendants. Right you got it? Yeah, I got a roll. I hope I can hook the column. And it's an acceptable way to carry it. Take that right side again? Yep. Okay. Very good, gentlemen. I was in the easier position to take it over on the stairs. Oh, yeah. Where are we going with it? Right around the corner. Okay. Ah, we need more minions. More minions are required. Why does it make me think about uh, despicable me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so tell them who you are and what you got. I'm Kevin Signeski, uh, Program Robots, and uh, this was my class project, but I aborted it. It's a four-axis Panasonic robot. Uh, out of breath. Need more. <laughs> it weighs a couple cardio. hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have right there is a three-axis controller on top I bought for parts, and then the four-axis controller on the bottom there, both Panasonic. Should uh, power up and run the servo motors on this Panorobo 
uh, robot from okay. 1996. So it's a 1996 vintage, four axis, Panasonic Scara type robot. That's correct. And this is our newest donation in robotics. And what's its name? Woo its name, I don't know. Viewers, comment in with what the robot's name should be. We'll, we'll let the blog viewers decide. Um, so comment in with your name suggestions. And the winner not only gets the robot name, you know, your name, but gets a set of awesome Bolt Depot thread gauges. Just because we're cool like that. And we love the guys over at boltdepot.com. So there you go. Thank you, sir, for your awesome donation. Outstanding. Yay. That's cool. And if you or somebody you know has old junk robots hanging out in your basement or your garage or at work, okay, ask at work. You'd be amazed the amount of stuff they have in the back room somewhere at work. We want to give it a home because here, this robot, which was his school project, is now going to be somebody else's school project. There's going to be a ton of people working on that, making it happen, getting it back to life. It's going to be a whole thing. we got a whole new robot. So name the robot. And uh, I think that's the day. You guys have fun. I'm Chris. This is the gang. Todd's here. I am here. Todd's here in his boonie hat. In my boonie hat. That is today's Captain's Blog. As always, we'll see you next time. I learned how to run a machine shop. Set up an enterprise level server. Program nine foot robots. Make lightning. <laughs> Edit video. I'm building a radio station. Light bulb terrarium. A high performance electric car. I'm a CNC geek. Computer geek. Robot geek. Physics geek. AV geek. I'm a radio geek. Craft geek. Car buff. No matter what kind of geek you are, we've got a place for you here at the Geek Group. Come join us. We build awesome.